Money Plays, how you doing? Nice crowd tonight. Nice to see everybody, all right? Nice to see you, you, you. You guys I'm not too crazy about, all right? Listen, we really appreciate you coming out and supporting this live uh, entertainment. So please give yourselves a round of applause, all right? Everybody except for you guys. All right, listen, a little word of warning before I start tonight. I better get some laughs. If not, I'm coming out there. And one of you is going to buy me a sandwich. You get it? Do we have an understanding? All right, good. Listen, I'm having a tough day today, you know? You ever have one of those days you wake up, sun shining, birds are singing, everything's going your way? You ever have one of those days? Yeah? Not me. I wake up, I'm handcuffed to the bed, I'm covered in maple syrup, there's a midget hooker on my chest, and there's a pit bull in my balls in his mouth, and he's growling at me. Just another day at the office. Last week, my brother forgets my birthday. We're identical twins. Then my mother calls me up. She goes, I wish you guys a happy birthday. And by the way, one of you is adopted. <laughs> really, Ma? <laughs> Which one? I ain't telling you. Yeah, enjoy that nursing home when you grow old, all right? You know, I blame myself, you know? <sighs> we all made some bad decisions. You know, who's got it, you know who's got it worse than me? You know who's got it rougher than me? That Paula Dean broad. She's got it rough, right? Who would have thought some fat redneck pig would be a racist? <laughs> I'll be dipped in shit, right? Now, now she's got to change the names of the recipes. There goes the cotton-picking chicken. There goes the wet-back tacos. No more slanty-eyed fried rice. And worst of all, there goes the Jew Boy matzo ball soup. These hillbillies are going to starve to death. Like I said, you know, I blame myself. I made some bad decisions in my life. We've all made some bad decisions, right? Folks, you made some bad decisions. <sighs> Look at those guys. I know they've made a bunch. Last week, I, I made a really bad decision. I took a a laxative and a sleeping pill at the same time. <laughs> then I, I figured I'd go out one night, I'd go to those women's battered shelters, help the ladies out, you know, cheer them up a little bit, so I'd play some games with them. So try to play connect the dots with their bruises. You know something, those broads are fucking angry. They really are. <laughs> yeah, then I went to the 99 cent store. You ever go to the 99 cent store? Place is great, they got 99 cents everything, right? You can't lose. I should have walked by the 99 cent hooker in the parking lot. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of 99 cent crabs? <laughs> it ain't easy, you know? And I'm in a uh, fast food restaurant last week, and this big fat girl's bringing me my food, and she goes, you know, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Did I say I needed a fucking partner over here? <laughs> so she brings me all my food, and I'm like, really, I'm sorry about the wait. <laughs> me too, honey. Maybe take a few laps around the building, you'll lose it eventually, all right? <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a people person. The hell are you looking at? The other day I'm sitting around minding my own business watching TV, not, nothing to do. All of a sudden I get a phone call, right? Dave, I just had a baby. Come see the baby. Come on, please, come see the baby, all right? I said, all right, you know, I'll do the right thing. I'll come see the kid, all right? So first of all, I do the right thing. I take a shower. Once a month or whether you need it out of special occasions, national holidays, right? Buy the kid a little toy, go over to the house. All right, let me see the little angel. So I'm walking up, coochie, coochie. Oh, what an ugly kid. It was like looking into the sun, right? And when I'm starting to regain my eyesight, I'm thinking to myself, I showered for this. So then they start hitting me with the questions. So what do you think? I don't know. Is it too late for an abortion? Where'd you find this kid? In the Penning Zoo or the hospital? And they go, you know, who do you think he looks like? Me or the wife? You know, I really can't tell underneath all that fur. Has a creature had all the shots yet? They go, we named this kid after you. Really, you named this kid after me? What the hell did I ever do to you? And then you go, I want, the lady, the woman goes, I want this kid to end up just be like his father. I want him to be, end up just like his father. I said, listen, honey, you don't think you can hope for this kid? Is he really has an early crib death or he gets a job at the circus eating bugs because that's one ugly kid, all right? He ain't going nowhere. She's yelling. She's screaming. I got to go over next week. I got to teach you to eat off a ball off the floor, roll over, play dead, and fetch. Now, I'd like to give you a little public service announcement. Do you mind? Because I'm here to help. As you can tell, I'm a people person. Domestic violence is wrong. If you ever get into this situation, please walk away, all right? Nobody wins. Everybody loses. Correct? Perfect example. A few years ago, me and my ex-girlfriend got in a fight. I mean, it got ugly, yelling, screaming, throwing shit. Next thing I know, she drop kicks the family jewels for a 50-yard field goal. And if you're an Oakland Raiders fan, you can feel my pinks and went wide into the right. <laughs> all I can say is, when I recovered from this, we had the most phenomenal makeup sex of all time. I mean, 
unbelievable, all over the house, every position. It was unbelievable sex. I told her all about it three days later when she woke up. Now, my mother once said to me, Dave, if you got nothing nice to say, make sure you say it loud enough for everybody to fucking hear it, all right? Folks, you've been great. Have a nice night. Enjoy the rest of the show.